Well, I've been having problems with my dishwasher and it's not been uh, cleaning very well and it's been making kind of a squealing sound so uh, I thought I'd tear this thing apart and see what the deal is and um, hopefully maybe I can get it to work good. Uh, what you'll need if you're going to do this, you're going to need a Phillips and a straight slot screwdriver or any kind of a pry bar, it doesn't have to be a screwdriver. Quarter inch and 5 16 nut drivers, T15 and T25 Torx screwdrivers and uh, that should be enough to, I think that's all you'll need to tear this thing apart. And uh, if you're married, you might want to check with house rules and see if you're allowed to work on it in the house. If not, you might want to take her out in the shop. Okay, the first thing you'll need to do is uh, take out your silverware tray and your uh, racks. And uh, of course the silver tray and the bottom rack just slide out of there and, and uh, then there's just a little bit of a trick to take out the top one which I will show you. To take the top rack off all you do is you got to take and squeeze these little gizmos here and slide them up. You gotta squeeze them till they unlock and slide them up and then they'll snap off of there. They're about a two-handed little gizmo. It's kind of a bugger to get them off of there, but uh, that's how they come off. All that is is a stop so you can't actually pull your basket accidentally right on out. All you gotta do to take off this diverter is just, you just unscrew this uh, little wing nut on the top here. That comes right off of there and then your diverter lifts up off of there. Just like that. Once you take this sprayer off, you'll see this little ring on here. Well, it's split, and don't let that alarm you. It's supposed to be that way, so don't freak out or anything like that. Then I take this uh, top piece off, and there's eight screws that go around there. You take those eight screws off, and then you'll have to, you might have to pry it up off there, but if you have to pry it off there, be careful, because this is a real fine mesh screen here. If you try to pry on there, you could tear that screen. But uh, I would just use your fingernails if you could, catch it underneath there and kind of wiggle it around a little bit. Once you get it loose from the pump, then you're going to have to kind of wiggle it out of this uh, tube here. It's just got a seal that goes into that tube. And that's what pushes your water up into the top and then into the back, which comes out underneath your top uh, dish rack. If you think you need to take your inner door panel off, there's just eight screws that go around the edges here. Two of them go to the latch and then you just lift it up out of there. Once you take this door panel off, um, your door is going to be lighter than the spring's uh, tension, so it'll want to keep pushing itself closed. This is a pretty well balanced door. And then one other thing is, um, the back of this door has got your mechanism that releases your soap lid and also squirts out your um, rinse agent. And You'll have to kind of wiggle a little bit to get off of there, I think. Uh, then when you put it back on there, you want to make sure that you are going to get it over them uh, little levers on there so that uh, you can still, it, otherwise it won't work, of course. Now, if you feel like you need to work on any uh, electrical controls or anything like that, this cover here just has a little press in wheel here. Press that in, and then it just lifts out. This side here has got little hooks that come underneath the side. Then you got your uh, control panel, circuit board. Well, actually, the control panel is up underneath this here. I don't think there's much you can do about that other than maybe replace it or something. But um, so, yep, that's where everything's at. Okay, to start taking the cabinet off, or if you, even if you don't have the cabinet, if yours is a build-in, either way, start taking this thing apart. You start with this bottom trim panel. You got. Uh, a screw in all four corners. There's just and they take a quarter nut driver, and then on the back of that panel is also your um, repair information. It's got your sheet with your wiring diagrams and schematics and troubleshooting guide and all that kind of good stuff. And uh, so it's a good place to start. Before you take the before you take the rest of the cabinet off, you got three screws. Um, get my finger in the right spot in the camera. You got three screws. Uh, up underneath the lip of your butcher block or whatever type you, you've got for a top. Take those three out and then just lift the front up about half an inch and pull it toward you. And then just slide right off the back and lift it up and out of the way. And once you got the top off, it's time to take the rest of the cabinet off. And you got a uh, screw here, 
one at the bottom and one at the back on both sides and then and this is a T15 T15 quarter nut and then you got two Phillipses up here going to this cross brace I don't know if you have to take that off or not but uh, I think it might make it easier and then you got two T15s again through the front plastic face plate into this top bracket and I think once you take that loose I think it'll help you get that cabinet back off of there I almost forgot about these two screws here there's two in the very back um, right at the bottom of the back of the cabinet too there. this uh, hose caddy that just lift, simply lifts up out of there by uh, lifting the bottom toward you and then just up and out that's all there is to it that gets that out of there you can take that out of there and that gets out of your way so you can pull this cabinet out of the way this uh, insulation blazer just basically lifts right up off of there and then you're down to the wash tub you got one of these portable dishwashers and you need a boat anchor here's a big old chunk of concrete big old chunk of concrete right in the back keep this thing from flipping forward <laughs> so I guess that counterbalances when the door is open alright to take your impeller off I found that the easiest way to do it is to tilt your uh, dishwasher on the side like this kind of on an angle so you can get to both the top and the bottom of it uh, take a screwdriver and put in your motor here against one of these fins and then using your nut driver put your nut driver on that nut on your impeller and then it'll be a tight screw and it'll be tight almost all the way out and uh, just take her out all right, to take your motor down, you need to take out these four screws, and these are T25 Torx. There's four of those. You need to take out your electrical connector here. There's two little latches on the side. Squeeze those latches together and wiggle it and pull it out of there. And then you got your ground uh, wire right here. That has to come off. Once you get your motor out, um, just kind of inspect it a little bit. and. Make sure there's no little uh, ghost turds hiding up in there or anything like that. I'm going to take mine out and blow it out just to make sure it's clean. I don't see any way that a guy can actually lubricate it, but uh, it doesn't feel too bad. I know it was making kind of a squealing sound, and I about bet you it was this bottom bearing getting a little bit of dust bound in there, but I'm going to blow it out and just hope for the best on that. Now that you got the impeller out of there, you can see four screws in here. And those are T15s also. Just use your T15 and pull those four screws out. And then once you get that, those out, this uh, pump will lift up out of there. You have to take and slide this kind of out of the way. Work with him a little bit. When you take this out, just kind of check and make sure it's fairly clean on the inside. Rinse it out if you need to. Make sure this this is a screen, like a real fine screen around here. Make sure there isn't no um, nothing blocking any of that or anything like that. This near looks pretty good. There's uh, two check balls down inside here and the easiest way to get to those take your little T15 Torx here take that out and lift this piece up out of here. This is a little bit of a wiper that wipes your screen clean. One thing I just noticed in mine is a little uh, spring stuck in this one little spot here. That might have been part of the reason mine hasn't been working very well. So actually that's a spring out of a hinge <laughs> my cabinet door so not sure how it got in here but it must have landed in a, in a dish or a cup or a glass or something is and I didn't catch it when I loaded the dishwasher then so this, uh, this white thing here is a gasket so you want to kind of be careful with that and uh, as you put it together when you're done just make sure you don't wrinkle them up it's kind of a thin uh, little rubber gasket and using your uh, T15 Torx, you just take this screw out right, right there, and uh, then flip it back over and drop your piece off there. There'll be a check ball inside there. So easiest way is to have it facing the right side up as you take that off of there. Okay, this is your last check ball, and uh, just make sure that's clean, just like the other two. And this in here seems to be pretty clean, but I'm going to clean it off some more just to make sure. Okay, I got mine all back together. Racks are all back in. Everything's all like it was. 
Um, I'm going to put a, a tub of vinegar in there. I'm going to set a tub of vinegar in here on the top rack and uh, or maybe several cups, I don't know, however, whatever I can get to fit right. And I'm going to go ahead and run a cycle and run it on like a hot cycle and uh, probably heat it dry and uh, see if I can get that to help clean anything else that's uh, maybe plugged up or lined up or whatever in there. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Hopefully I was able to do it some good. Thanks for watching.